Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today we're going to be taking a look at, and I'm going to make sure I read this correctly, it's not on the screen. Shin Sakai Into the Depths. I do apologise profusely for that pronunciation. It's probably probably way off the mark, but I do want to thank Capcom because they have only gone and bloomin' sponsored this video, and we're just going to have a ruddy good look at the game. It was originally released on Apple Arcade, and it was an exclusive, and now it isn't. It's on the Nintendo Switch. We're just going to be having a look at the game generally. I know not an enormous amount about it, and from what little I've read, that's the way to go about it. Uh, I do know it's very atmospheric, underwater. Those are all good things. But anyway, that's more than enough waffling. Let's dive right into things. So we're just going to jump in. As you can see, there's some sort of uh, crustacean down there. I don't know if he's uh, uh, some sort of arthropod at the very least. What is he? He's waving. Hello, you. And we're just going to jump straight in. Easy, standard, or back difficulty. Um, I'm going to go with standard. Back is a little bit too hardcore for me. This mode offers a challenge as you explore the world of Shinsekai. Note achievements. Uh, you, oh yeah, it's just saying that, uh, just saying that standard mode is a, a little bit tougher. That's alright with me. I like me a little challenge. Ho oh, ho. Oh. Is that a loading screen? I think it may be a loading screen. Come on, give me some of the sweet stuff that isn't a blank screen. Hey, there we go. I can see some fish. A car. Hmm, that doesn't bode well. Oh, that's me! That's me there down in the uh, the bottom right-hand corner, I believe. Unless I've got my left and right and up and down mixed up. Or one or the other. The game did recommend when I was booting up that I play this with headphones, which is handy because I always play with headphones when I do these sort of videos, because otherwise you lot would hear all sorts of weird hummings and harrings and buzzes and beeps and things like that, which would not be suitable and Good lord, I've got a little area and what appears to be even some oxygen up there. Marvellous. I'm just going to continue putting some gubbins in this machine and see what the gubbins can do. Is it going to... Oh, are they going to, like, put more oxygen in or... something? The game hasn't explained anything and the information that's available online is limited. Again, probably because it likes to keep some surprises, which is a good thing, no doubt. Especially when you are playing it for the first time, like Muggins here. So it's nice to be sort of back on dry land, briefly. If indeed this is considered dry land, I mean, when you consider what was on the floor below, it's fairly dry. Am I ever going to see my man's face? Could be a woman, who knows, could be in a Metroid situation like uh, right now. Or maybe it doesn't matter. Let's go with that option. Oh, lordy, something's definitely happening. I saw, I saw something like this in the title screen. It was this stuff. I don't know what it is. Some sort of ice or something, for lack of a better term. And some fish touched it, and they themselves crystallized as well. And I am not in the mood to be crystallized just right this moment. So, I'm quite glad that during that cutscene, I got the heck out of there. Move with L. Already doing it, sir. Press B while on solid footing, solid footing to jump. Oh, that's floaty. Oh, that's floaty. Oh, that's... That's bizarre. I mean, I know I'm underwater, but even so, it's... Uh... Am I to go down here? I suppose so. Whee! Use up while off the ground to activate your suit's thrusters. Ah! Use them to move three, freely through the water, but be careful as they consume a lot of wiggle. Okay, and I don't have a lot of wiggle to play with. There we go. I'm going to pick up these things. Are they giving me oxygen or something? Your suit can only take so much pressure. Go too deep and you'll damage it. Red water indicates your suit's maximum depth. Handy. I better not go over there then. There we go. Got over. Easy peasy. I'm like surrounded in a bubble right now. I'm down without picking up. One of them will increase your maximum wiggle capacity. These will take damage in place of your suit, but take too much and they will break. Ah, okay, so it's kind of like a, um, I suppose kind of like a, almost like a sort of an energy tank or something. 
Oh, there, up we go, up we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, blimey. Crumbs. Pick that up. What do we got here, boy? You can use this item. Slightly different wiggle to replenish some wiggle. You can craft more with plant and water. Go to the items tab game menu or to craft or use different wiggle. Splendid. So now I'm assuming it's pertinent for me to go up here, jump up here. Oh, the, the physics are quite bizarre. I mean, they make sense underwater. Don't get me wrong. They really make some sense, but um, L towards a wall or slope to grab, uh, to grab hold and climb. Stamina will deplete as you climb. I'm guessing that's stamina. Anyway, you'll fall if it runs out. Okie dokie. Let's just try and climb up here and get away from that nasty, nasty ice. Marvellous. But yeah, the physics, they make sense. Oh, good lord, I do not want to... Oh, it is ice, it is ice. Your suit will gradually freeze while in contact with ice. When your suit is completely recovered, it will take damage. Sliding on ice will break frost off of your suit. I'm going to try and avoid the ice as much as possible. There we go. Missed it completely. Bingo, bango. And I'm sliding down on ice now, I believe. Whoa. There we go. Yeah, this ice stuff is nasty. Kind of want to learn more about it. You, uh, you can save your progress, uh, your progression, sorry, with tall thing. <laughs> When activated, the save screen will open and damage to your suit will be repaired. Ah, so it's a proper, like, little save thing. Got to press and hold A. Let's do it, bub. There we go. And I definitely don't want to go down there into that deeper water because that is too deep for old muggins here. If I climb up here, this seems like a bad... What? Okay, so what am I supposed to do? I suppose I could... Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, that's, oh, oh, that's bizarre. Oh, what's this? Does that say pray? This has got some bizarre world building going on. No, no idea why my character's even down here. Have I lost control? There's some sort of idol or something in the back. What does praying to it do? Ah, so many questions. Press Y to swing your gaff. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Wah! Oh, there we go. I got some of that. 0.13 grams of it. 0.14 grams of it. Is it like chitin or something? Something like that? Can I attack this jelly? Wabow! I can indeed. And I got 34 wobble. So what resources have we got? We've got wiggle, which I believe is there. We've got wobble, which is like jelly or water or something. Oh! We've got that, which is like chitin and plants as well. There's something about crafting as well, so I'm gonna have to have a look at that. Whoa! Discover buried objects by shining your lamp on them. ZL to switch your lamp on and off. So where am I to be? Aha! That's going to be like secrets or something. Excavate! I've got to hold the button down instead of just pressing it. I got me some chitin. Or whatever it is. I just collected potentially chitin. Use it to make ammo for your weapon. You can craft it in the weaponry tab of the game menu. So I need to go to the weaponry tab and yeah, I'm going to make some ammo. There we go. I've made three whole ammo. Maybe I shouldn't have made as many as three, but you know what? I did it anyway. Use R, right stick to enter firing mode. Take an aim and press ZR to fire your weapon. I'm not sure I really want to... Oh, no, I kind of need to for this. Hey, and I got him with my melee attack afterwards. Splendid, I am a good boy. And I got one of those things again. Marvellous. I'm guessing it's like kind of like extra oxygen tanks. Might as well save, why not? Keep my progress, I don't want to <laughs> fall afoul of anything nasty and then be terribly embarrassed as a result. Whoa! Slow down there, sunshine. 
Can I? Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, good lord, this takes a while to... Oh! Hang on. Have I had my light on this entire time? I believe I have. That's how I turn it off. I'm not sure why I'd turn it off. Maybe it uses some sort of resource. Get off that wall, sunshine! But even so... I managed to find something. Ah! If you take damage, your suit and your air tanks or something will begin to crack. If your suit takes too much damage, you'll die. I don't want that, frankly. I'm more in the uh, staying alive mood right now. There we go. Easy peasy. Take care of these sods. Marvellous. Got me another air tank. I am... Ooh... I wonder if it would be worth going back to that save point to see if that will repair me. Is that thing constantly encroaching? That ice? It's certainly making sure I don't go backwards at any time. I've got this little bubble around me for a bit of... Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ice, 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 baby. Get me some seaweed. These prawns will make a tasty dish. Oh, and Mr. Crab. <laughs> Mr. Crab. If I can even... There we go. I've made me some crab. I'm gonna make a lovely stew. Can you make crab stew? I mean, obviously you can. Whoa! Oh, scripted event! Scripted! I'm just not sure whether you'd want to make crab stew. Let me know your recipes for crab stew in the comments below. <laughs> Whilst we watch this cutscene as I desperately try to escape. Oh, and I've made it! Convenient. These pre-rendered cutscenes, they know what they're doing. I'm going to end up with so, so many of these tanks, which makes me worried because why do I need so many? And again, we've got a scripted bit, which makes me worried we've got some sort of boss or something, maybe? I don't know if there are bosses. Oh no, because there was something in the direct, wasn't there? It was like a rush mode. Mmm. Spicy. So I'm guessing I can't go through here. No. So we go. I do like the movement. It's ooh, uh, it's properly sort of underwater like, which is something that most games don't necessarily nail. Not that they're necessarily going for realism, but even so, all the sort of the slow movement and everything. I I'm a big fan of it. Though I'm not a big fan of this thing, whatever's in the way. Come on, just need to lift that sucker up. Up you go. And go into this tiny little shop. Or upgrade? Or other unrelated system? What do we have here? Maybe if I stop talking we'll find out. I can hear some bizarre sounds coming sort of from behind me. Oh, schematic! One, two, three. Four. Five. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I'm really not sure. It's saying, like, maybe put minerals in the... in the thing? And then it'll improve my defense or something? Or allow me to climb down? Or... It's heavy? It's quite cryptic. It's not actually explaining it. So let's... Pick it up at the very least. I got it! Oh, it's telling me now. You can now use minerals to upgrade your suit. <laughs> uh. It's possible to upgrade a variety of different parts on the upgrades tab of the game menu. Let's have a nosy, why don't we? So upgrades, uh, check and uh, so the suit upgrades. Uh, increase climbing speed. Resistance to ice and other damaging surfaces reduces wiggle consumed by thrusters and slightly increases speed. I'm down with that. Uh, increases the maximum number of tanks you can have. Good lord, that's a lot of tanks. Can I can I get this? Can I get this? No. Uh, increases your carrying capacity. It probably doesn't help that I've got zero of the thing it needs me to have. <laughs> Maybe I should have a bit more of that. I'm, I can't get down there. Investigate. I'm guessing that's just the schematic again. Can I now? We whoa! I want to make sure I get over. Can I now? Yeah, now I can go through here. Whack that button open, sunshine! 
and let's have a little newsy nosy along here. And jumping's actually quite fast. When standing, press down and Y to investigate your surroundings. If something is detected, an icon will be displayed on your map. Excellent. Ah, that's what that was doing. Oh, and it's showing me a tank up here that I genuinely didn't see. In uh, This symbol indicates buried minerals which can be used to upgrade your suit. Gather them. Like, to progress deeper than before. Splendid. And, oh, 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 there was some here. Do I need to use my light? Come on, climb up there. Let's use my light. Excavate. Hold it down again, Alex. You should have learnt this the first time. Well, hey! 3.7 grams. I need 10 grams. Let's just do a quick little savey slew to make sure I don't lose any progress, because that would be um, unfortunate. Oh, pick up. Is this just ammo? Ah, oh, yeah. 14. 40. Good lord, that's a lot. So, ah, hang on. I think there's some more up here. Way And another tank. Good lord. Ex excavate, sunshine. Is there any detriment to having your, uh, your, your light on all the time? Because I'm not seeing any just yet. Although maybe there's some, like, sneaky, stealthy things later on where you really don't want it. Let's, where? Take that. Aha, I've got your jelly. And there's now what you can do about it. Let's search. No, nothing nearby. However, you, I need your stuff. We don't want to go too far down there. Oh, haha! <laughs> I might use one of these. Yeah, that made more sense. And I can excavate this. It's full of minerals. The minerals, Marie. Wow, that's an old meme. Hang on, were there no... Oh. Were they not minerals? Maybe it was just chitin or something. Let's mosey on up here. Let's just double check. I haven't got too much. Uh, too much? Enough for... Uh, I haven't got any minerals. <laughs> or whatever it is that's required. Like crystals or something, maybe? What can I get there? Um, 6.9 grams. I need 10 grams. Okay, so that's what I need to upgrade my suit. Aha! Oh, I can, like, hang off the ceilings as well, because obviously it's wet. It's wet in the water. So I can... I can do that. That made more sense in my head. Oh, and there we go. Let's scan around. Some lovely minerals. Of some description. 3.10 grams. Is that enough? I've got exactly 10. It's almost scripted. Let's do it, boy. You've taken your first step into the depths by improving your suit. That's both excellent and kind of terrifying. Because if... <laughs> the deeper you go, obviously there's there's more to, more to worry. Oh, so it kind of drains. I'm getting, like, um, uh, Metroid 2 vibes from all this. Um, which is by no means a bad thing. But the whole sort of, like, lava going down and everything. I suppose, I suppose, in this is a Metroidvania. I just think because the, the physics and the setting and everything was so different, I didn't really sort of consider that genre, perhaps. Look at that. I can review some tutorials, which I will hopefully never have to do, but <laughs> let's, not, uh, let's not make any promises we can't keep. Nothing around here. Have I been here before? Ah, yes, I've definitely been here before. Yes, I remember this part. So I can drop down here and I can start exploring anew. I don't want to fall too harsh though, because I don't want to take damage. Uh, press B while off the ground to perform a thruster burst. This consumes more wiggle than a regular thruster use, but can be useful in a pinch. Oh, that was useful in a pinch. Oh, what's this? Is this anything useful? It is not. It looks slightly useful. Ooh. Hmm, this ice is slightly worrying. Ah ha 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 ha! Scripted event. Made it. Even more ice. And... 
Yeah, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go near that. What's this ice doing? It's like just designed to make sure I have a bad day. I mean, I'm sure there's some sort of deeper meaning. Oh, that thing's got a circle emanating from it. It must be important. What's the hippity hap, young scallywag? Oh, 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 it's giving me a marker. See where you've been. Haha, <laughs> I can do just that. I've not been very far at all. <laughs> um, indicates the next location you should attempt to reach, as well as the distance to the location. Marvellous. Well, I need to um, probably upgrade my suit again in that case. Let's get another one of these sausages. Can I? Ah, if your lamp makes something sparkle, take a closer look. Sometimes you can open new paths by striking parts of the environment. Ah! Excellent. That's just what I wanted, genuinely. What was in here? I was saying, ah, I can't pick up anymore because all of my ones are good. Zoom. Oh, oh, if you have that, you can create a save. Oh, you can create a save point. Ah, but I don't have any of those, so. I'm just going to have to go on without. I'm sure I'll live. What happens if I strike the earth? Nothing. Or the seabed, I suppose. Ooh. Ah! Ah! Ah, I did not want that to happen. Oh, 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 I did not mean to use two, but that worked surprisingly well. Have at you. Give me your chitin. And that's one of those things that I can use to create a save point. I won't because I'm feeling fairly confident at the moment. Perhaps um, erroneously. <laughs> but I think I'm doing fairly well. Whee. It's interesting because this was originally designed obviously for a touchscreen interface and obviously now it's not. Uh, but it seems to control very well. Um, I do obviously physical controls. Obviously I'm partial to that. Um, okay, so I'm guessing that has some wires going down here to this control. Hey, you. Ooh, is that something I can have? Maybe. Maybe. Let's open this door. See where it gets us. And you. You don't get away that easily. Right, let's take a mosey on up here. And a little rest. Oh, good. For a second, I thought that door was closed. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Ooh! What have we got here? It's a little pick or something. Press L to open inventory. Press a button to use the corresponding item. You can use this item to repair damage to your suit and tanks. You can craft more with blank and wob. Go to the items tab of the game menu to craft or use this. Oh, and another cutscene as well. I'm being spoiled. I'm being told to go up there. Let's... Um... So how do I... Ah! By using A I can repair. Why not try it? There we go! Marveloso. Oh, and another cutscene. But I got to repair my thing. That's important. Oh dear. Watch out, sunshine. It's a big boy. Oh, good lord. I really shouldn't... Get away from me! Okay, that was uh, the first enemy to actually put up a fight. Which was also slightly... Uh, get up there! Slightly worrying. But I can save now. It's all good. I can save for you. Oh. <laughs> they were right. This is certainly atmospheric. And I think the floaty controls and everything do actually... Whilst many instances. Ah! It would be, um, <laughs> it would be a detriment. I think it's, um, it actually helps to some degree. You little toe rag. How dare you. I'm trying to get my minerals. And I got my minerals. A whole 0.94 grams of them. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm not going to be deterred from this potentially useful little secret location. Excavate, good sir. What's that? It's some of that stuff. 
Let's have a quick look, see whether there's any upgrades or anything I can do. I need 15, and I don't have any of that. I don't have any of that. And, oh, I, no, I don't have any of that either. What can I use? Um, oh, I've got loads of stuff. I can make loads of uh, that sort of stuff. And I can make one of those. Why not, eh? One of those repair things. Things. Oh, I nearly missed some minerals. I need the minerals. I need them all. Give them to me. Oh. Come here. Hey, I got the hang of those. Oh, God, there's another one. Did it have to fire three? Is it just designed to fire three? That feels like a waste of ammo to me. This harpoon was 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 manufactured by somebody who does not understand the value of harpoons. I wonder whether the light angers those squiggle bugs that were Ay ay ay. Get over there. Because that would, you know, sort of make sense. It would give you a reason to turn it off. Aha! Look at that! Oh, that was weirdly successful. Especially for me. Mosey on over. Take care of this crap. And get up there. This is telling me there's minerals nearby, perhaps. Yes, I will save and get those. Marvellous. Turn the light on. Aha! There they are. No, go back down. Go back down. Yes, no, no. Excavate. Excavate. Fate. Ah, that's some stuff I need. That that's a lot as well. Oh, oh, another cutscene, another cutscene. There's more ice coming down to make my day unpleasant. I think if this was happening to me in real life, I would be having a absolutely massive panic attack because I don't like being underwater generally. I don't like sort of the ocean in that sense. I mean, I like it as a concept. I just don't like, <laughs> like being encased in it and not being able to get away. Ah, some of that stuff. Yes, minerals that will allow you to upgrade your suit or item bag. Yes, I will do that as soon as I've got some more. But I really don't like that. And also, I am slightly claustrophobic. So the idea of being stuck underwater with limited oxygen in... Oh, I can drag. And what's worse, being stuck underground with limited oxygen and then having the ceiling kind of essentially collapse in on me. No, get out! That would be um, my idea of not a great time. Oh, input L quickly in the opposite direction and you'll see what? Um, that if you jump while that is displayed, you'll kick off the wall. Ah, I can do a wall kick. Excellent. I need 15 grams of that stuff, and I've got not 15 grams. Whoa, get out of there, sunshine. Oh, let's try turning that off, see if they're happier. They're not happier. Okay, I'm going to keep this on. Bow, 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 da, da, take that. I'm going to shimmy slide. Ooh. There we go. I've taken more damage than I'd like right now. Why? Ooh, that was actually far more um, successful than I think it should have been. Are they gonna... Whoa! Good God. There's something to come at me thick and fast now. Up we go. I am worried about the amount of stuff that's using. Okay, so there was something there. I'm gonna ah, ah, ah. rest for a moment. Am I gonna get my squiggle back? I can't remember. I've not been paying attention to how it works. I've not had to yet. And now all of a sudden I do. I don't want to die. It turns out squiggle is oxygen. 
and apparently this guy needs it. Well, that was marginally harrowing. <laughs> Let's um conti continue on our on our quest back. Get away, crab! Honestly, some people. Okay, so I didn't lose too much progress. Ah! That's what those bubbles were. It was a ray. And I killed it, and I feel a little bad, because I really like rays. Come on, get out of here. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Now. Yep, wall jump, yep, know all that. Worry not about me. Okay, now I've got nine grams of that stuff. I need a bit more, but I don't know where I'm going to get it. It's quite bold of a Metroidvania, actually, to give you full... Um, sort of essentially full two-dimensional movement up and down as well as left and right. Because usually I'm... Once again, using way too much of my O2. Uh, I'm in a bad place. I'm in a very, very bad place. Get out of here, little astronaut man. He's not an astronaut, he's a... Aquanaut? I don't know. I don't know what you call him. Let's call him Frank. Frank the Water Astronaut. What happens if I do that there? That means, oh, there's some minerals down there and some minerals up there, some good minerals. Maybe that'll allow me to go deeper. I'm meant to be exploring. That makes sense. Do not run out of O2 this time, Alex. If I can upgrade my suit once more, I'll be happy. Ah, ah. That's my 15 grams, boy! Upgraded. Is that going to give me some O2? Please give me some O2. Rats. <laughs> Maybe when I... Yep, you've upgraded. Well done, you. And there goes the water. Byezy bye. Well, I say there goes the water. You know what? The water's always there. Oh! It'll boost. Ah, that's better. Can I can I um, upgrade? Can can I make some of those? Um, can I make one of them? Or is that just ah? That's going to replenish it, I think, when I need it. Okay, so not to worry about that too much just yet. Let's get me some minerals and have a little nosy down here. Ooh, I got some of those as well. Whoa, you found minerals that allowed you to upgrade. Oh, I died before that happened last time. Ah, I need to get out of there and get my O2 back. Oh, I'm a clever actually thinking about what I'm doing this time. <laughs> Except that time when I just used the boost when I really didn't need to. That was splendid. Was there O2? There was O2 down there as well and I fell in there by accident. Maybe I can go... Ah, I don't think I could go down there before. Oh, yes! Give me one of those. Good lord. I didn't think, you know, I got so many so quickly for so long. Ooh, ooh, is that a harpoon upgrade? Gimme, 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 gimme. There we go. I want to give me, is it a harpoon? It certainly looks like it. Um, select the weapon you want to equip with R and then, ah, so it's not necessarily a harpoon, but it's a different weapon. Ooh, unlimited ammo. Now you're talking my language. Wee, But it's slower, only shoots one, and it's tethered, so you have to wait for it to go back. That's fine, though. I'm guessing I can use it as some sort of grapple, because, aha! The man speaketh, the man worketh it out. It can certain, uh, skewer certain creatures and objects sometimes. Skewering things will allow special actions or open up some new paths, even. What a crazy notion. Eh... Wee! I can swing back and forth. Ooh. I let go. Let go. Do I let? Uh, do I let go with the? 
There we go, I let go with the trigger. I'm not nearly as uh, mobile above ground. Look at that jump. Oh, it's still low gravity though. I'm on like an alien planet or something. That'd be cool. Kapow. Kip kip pow. Kip pow. Pull. Is that open? We oh I fell off. <laughs> oh. Okay, so aim. Fire. Pull. Ah, it needs to be at the right angle. That makes more sense. Shimmy on slide over here. It can be, it can pull impaled cre creatures towards you. And they're close enough you can attack for massive damage. Inject? Illuminated a creature with the inject. I'm not sure I want to inject this poor thing. That feels rude. I feel- da ah, Get off the ice! Get off it! I feel dubious about doing that. What does it mean by inject? Am I injecting it with like O2 or something? Oh, inject them with- yeah, injected creatures will glow, attracting attention of predators. Oh, that's a bit cruel. I mean... I get it, but... Uh, but I get some more fish juices. Or whatever it is. Oh dear, I took damage. <laughs> I am the best at the underwatering. You heard it here first. Well, there you have it. Oh, cutscene. I'll, I'll talk over the cutscene. There you have it. That is a look at Shin Sakai Into the Depths. It is available for Nintendo Switch right now. If you want to learn anything more about the game, then you can find a link to just the said information that you so desire in the description. Once again, big thanks to Capcom for sponsoring this video, and thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you take a deep dive with that subscribe button, and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>